first news headlines. BJP releases list of candidates for 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly election. Three women candidates given tickets, three sitting MLS denied and 12 new faces. IRS supporters of former MLA Dr. K. H. Loken states protests clash with police on street. Police fire tear gas shells. And state pays homage to Mahatma Gandhi on his 74th death anniversary. Hello and good evening. Welcome to Mami TV English News Bulletin. I'm Kamita Tombra with the news and details. The much-awaited list of BJP candidates for the upcoming 12th Manipur state legislative elections has been announced. The BJP election committee met the announcement at a press conference held at BJP headquarters in New Delhi around 12.30 this afternoon. Election in charge of BJP Manipur and Union Home Minister Bupendra Yadav and BJP Manipur in charge Dr. Sambit Patro were among the BJP leaders present at the press conference. Addressing the media, Dr. Sambit Patro expressed confidence that BJP will form the new government in Manipur by winning two by third majority in the upcoming elections. The Sefran party has denied tickets to three sitting MLAs of Manipur while it has given the party tickets to three women candidates and 12 new faces. The three sitting MLAs who were denied the party ticket are Wangkai MLA Y. E. Robert, Kakching MLA M. Brameshwar and Moirang MLA P. Sharad, while women BJP candidates are ex-minister Nemcha Kipgen from Kangpu P. A. C., S. K. B. from Nauria Pakhanglakpa A. C. and S. S. Olish from Chandal A. C. The list of candidates was announced after approval of BJP National General Secretary and BJP Headquarters in charge Arun Singh. The candidates of the 60 seats are Thangza Mohendro Singh from Kundrakpam AC, Nongthombam Biren Singh from Hengang AC, Laisang Tem Sushindra Maite from Kurai AC, Nahakpam Indrajit Singh from Ketrigao AC, Tongam Bishwajit Singh from Tongzu AC, Laurembam Rameshwar Maitei from Kairao AC, Thangnao Jam Siam Kumar from Andro AC, Kongban Tabam Ibomsa Singh from Lamlai AC, Jotin Waikom from Thangwaiban AC, KH Ragumani Singh from Uripok AC, Raj Kumar Imo Singh from Sagolban AC, Elangbam Johnson Singh from Kaisham Tong AC, Yumnam Kemchan Singh from Singzamai AC, Tokjom Satya Batro Singh from Yaiskul AC, Okram Henry Singh from Wangkai AC, Haikam Dingo Singh from Sekmai AC, Rokhaibam Rajan Singh from Lamsang AC, Dr. Sapam Ranjan Singh from Kwantosam AC, Sapam Kunzakeshwar K. Singh from Patsoi AC, Karam Shyam from Langtabal AC, Sorai Sam K. B. Devi from Nauria Pakanglakpa AC, Oinam Rukhoi Singh from Wangoi AC, Kongkam Robindro Singh from Mayang Imphal AC, Thongnao Jam Basanta Singh from Nambol AC, Laishram Radha Kishor Singh from Oinam AC, Kwantosam Govindas from Abishnupur AC, M. Prithivira Singh from Moirang AC, Tongram Ravindra Singh from Thanga AC, S. Prem Chandra Singh from Kumbi AC, Y. Antas Khan from Lilong AC, Laitan Tem Basanta Singh from Thobal AC, Yumnam Nabachandra Singh from Wangkem AC, Tokzom Radhishyam Singh from Hairok AC, Paunam Brazen Singh from Wangzing Tentha AC, Dr. Kundrakpa Menjor Mangang from Kangabog AC, Dr. Usham Diben Singh from Wabagai AC, Yenkom Sursandra Singh from Kakching AC, Dr. Radhishyam Yumnam from Hianglam AC, M. Binod Singh from Sugnu AC, Buddha Chandra Singh from Jiribam AC, S. S. Olish from Chandel AC, Let Pao Hauke from Tengnopal AC, A. S. Hopingson from Fungyar AC, Somatai Saiza 
Sarah from Ukrul AC, MK Preshaw Simre from Chingai AC, Yam Thong Hau Kip Cycle AC, R U Jonathan Tao from Karong AC, S Alexander Michael from Mao AC, O Lord Ho from Tadubi AC, Nemcha Kip Gen from Kangpo P AC, Nam Tham Hau Kip from Sai Tu AC, Wilubao Niu Mai from Tamai AC, Huri Gong Mai from Tamenglong AC, Digang Dunggang Mai from Nungba AC, Dr. Chaltuan Lai Amo from Tipai Muk AC, Vong Zagen Valti from Thanlon AC, Let Zamang Hauke from Henglep AC, V Hankalian from Churchan Pur AC, Paulian Lal Hauke from Saikot AC, and Gishun Hao Zhou from Singhat AC. Meanwhile, strict security measures have been taken up in the surrounding areas of Tambal Shangland located at Nitiai Patutek. Riot police in full gear have been deployed in the area. On the other hand, BJP ticket hopefuls were unable to secure the party tickets, are holding parlays with other political parties and are yet to decide their next steps. Soon after the BJP announced its candidates list for the upcoming polls this afternoon, IRAT supporters of former BJP MLA Dr. K. H. Lokin took out the streets in the protests. The supporters protested at Segaro Takelambam Laikai, showing their displeasure for not giving the party ticket to Dr. Lokin. An altercation broke between the protesters and police. The police resorted to firing tear gas and smoke bombs to control the situation. The conflict began right after BJP's candidate list was announced by the center for the upcoming general election. The party ticket was not given to Lokane, who was a BJP candidate in the previous 11 state general assembly elections. The protesters burned tires and blocked the road by sitting in the middle of the road chanting anti-party slogans. A team of Infowis police led by additional SP of Infowis, Luen Order, SDPO and other top-ranking officers rushed to the spot to pacify the protesters while trying to subdue the situation and altercation broke out between both sides. The police fired tear gas and smoke bombs to disperse them. However, they gathered again and chanted slogans. Later, the situation was brought under control by a team of police force and center, Central Riot Police.
Deputy Commissioner of Imphal East and District Election Officer K. H. Diana said the preparation in the Imphal East District for the upcoming General Assembly elections is almost complete. She appealed to the people to cast their votes without any fear and doubt. Diana said this during a press conference held today at the District Conference Hall of Imphal East DC Office Complex. Addressing the media, she said for smooth voting, a short minimum facilities will be available at every polling stations. For disabled voters, five wheelchairs fitted in vans will be available in each constituency and 32 vehicles will be arranged to drop them at the polling stations. Postal ballot service will be available for senior citizens, people with more than 40 degree disability and COVID suspected voters. Asha or health workers will assist for thermal scanning and rapid response team will be stationed. The DC informed that 79% of licensed gun has been recovered so far in Nepal East. She further appealed to the people to exercise their voting rights without any fear. DC of Imphal East Diana also appealed to the candidates to ensure the conduct of free and fair elections. Polling station could be the assured minimum facility. Maroon a ramp, a toilet, a drinking water, a ching buggy, a sinzer ball, a lawyer already. 100% of the site is a Then, a uh, 433 polling station gi manung asid da 130 polling station d nepal is ki oina mai gi polling personnel asin nupi ngatano oi bodo women polling personnel na men togani aduga khoi gi constituency ani ya school amasung wang khai di aduga lai ba polling station khodik ma nupi polling personnel na ngata keno khoi gi election gi duty as polling personnel oi gi ni ba aduga an ac khodik ma ac tara ma Nupi personal thagani except andro the di koi na nupi thagani roy. Assembly constituency ko dingi polling station ani ani di model oi na koi na choose thau zai. Model polling station se da koi ashit minimum facilities ki matak ta thara hai na koi na festival of democracy election se hai na portrait thau na ba mayam da mayam da. Ibum ko di mag ta hai na koi festival asi thazna saru ya ba hai di participate oi na ba gi keno da ithil da koi na se da extra facilities like doctor the may I help you? Dex kumba thambi ba. The crate kumba thambi ba. Do extra. The shade kumba. The koi na same yana ka khala ka carpet carpet ka thabi raga. Water dam special na fill tohon ba. Do kumbagi polling station kunna ma koi na plant tau zai. In fact, iski water sin da ihal na hazen ing badi. Bon asi fear amu so intimidation. Am ta yau dunna yam na ma gi mikhal adu. Kanaba, Topira U, Adu, Hoi, Hoi Festival of Democracy, the Hoi, valuable policy cast or rega, 
kano participate tau biu hai bado adu ki appeal se tau zaningi. Sam election di intending candidate sing da hai na hai zaning bana please play fair yam tum na tum fairly play tau biu adu ka moral code of conduct strictly adhar tau biu. Manipur observed the 74th death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, father of the nation today at GM Hall today. The governor of Manipur, Laga Nation and Chief Minister Anbiran led the gathering in paying homage to the father of the nation. Deputy Chief Minister Y. Jay Kumar, Chief Secretary Dr. Rajesh Kumar, MLA and Indrajit and other top-ranking officials of the state also attended the function. The attendees paid tribute to Mahatma Gandhi by laying wreaths on his statue. They paid homage to Gandhi by wailing silent twice. Later, they observed two minutes silence in his honor. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee MPCC also observed the 74th death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi today at Congress Bhavan. Ex Chief Minister of Manipur and leader of CLP Okram Ibobi, President of MPCC, and Lokane AICC Manipur in charge Bhakta Charandas, CYC member of AICC Gaikangam, and leaders of MPCC attended the observance. Speaking on the occasion, former Chief Minister Ibobi said Congress has been following the footsteps and emulating the ideology of Mahatma Gandhi, who took a major role in India's freedom struggle. ภาคตะไลบานากริพุทธมนมานมานอปันบะธรรมชัชชะบะมะตุไดตะเมจอริตีนะตะนาณะชุปะจิงกินบะยาดะบะเทตันตอบะยาดะบะอะตุกุมบ
Central Election Committee, which made Ram Sonia Gandhi Jina, Mangas Yar, Loro Kanda, Ekoi, Kamakanda, Atu Homatom, the second phase Duena, I long Togani had I had my name. On account of the rise in COVID-19 cases in Manipur, including cases of new variant Omicron, Chairperson of State Disaster Management Authority and Chief Secretary Dr. Rajesh Kumar has released an order extending COVID restrictions in the state. The state government has enforced night curfew from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. strictly till February 28. In the fresh office memorandum, Chief Secretary Dr. Rajesh Kumar said that micro-containment zones will be strictly monitored by a dedicated police and health department team while all deputy commissioners have been advised to involve the local clubs with specific jurisdictions. It also asks the department's concerns, especially health, to isolate fresh COVID cases as soon as possible and scale up vaccination. Contact tracing and testing by providing additional manpower, mobility and IEC advocacy. In terms of gathering maximum of 50 persons or half of the capacity, whichever is less in case of closed spaces, and maximum of 200 persons in open spaces is allowed as per the fresh notification. All establishments of print and electronic media and services and movement of their personnel are allowed during curfew, it mentioned. It permitted all central and state government offices with 66 person physical attendance of all employees by taking adequate precautions. Shops selling fish and poultry products, milk and fresh milk products are permitted to open from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Shops in Tangal and Pangnakai Tales have been allowed to open from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. The notification also stated that all physical classes should be for class 9 and above and the number of students should not exceed 50% of the capacity of the classroom. No physical classes have been allowed for coaching centers and private tuition centers. The order will remain effective till February 28. The High Court may issue orders in respect of judicial courts, it added. A joint team of Vishnupur Commando and Loktak Police arrested one person with five packets of opium weighing 1.487 kg at Lamdan Kabui village on Saturday. According to police reports, the person has been identified as Angom Ingocha, 37, son of late A. Mangi of Laimatak Thingfai village. While checking his bag, the team found five packets of opium weighing 1.487 kg. The arrested person and the seized items were handed over to Loktak Police Station for further legal action. Technopol Battalion of Assam Rifles under the aegis of Igor South successfully recovered more than 1 lakh WY tablets in cross-border narcotics trafficking at Technopol yesterday. According to police report, the team recovered 15 packets containing 1 lakh 50,000 WY tablets from a vehicle during a mobile vehicle check post at Technopol. The recovered narcotics are estimated to be of worth 7.5 crore rupees. The seized narcotics along with the vehicle and the apprehended person were handed over to Technopol police for further investigation. India's daily COVID curve showed marginal improvement as the country reported 2.34 lakh cases with 893 deaths in the last 24 hours. India's active case load presently stood at 18.84 lakh. It constitutes 4.59% of the country's total positive cases. The daily positivity rate was up from 13.39% to 14.50%, while the weekly positivity rate was recorded at 16.40%. With 3.52 lakh patients recovered in the last 24 hours, the cumulative tally of recovered patients stood at 3.84 crore. Consequently, India's recovery rate stood at 94.21%. So far, with the administration of more than 62 lakh vaccine doses in the last 24 hours, India's COVID-19 vaccination coverage has exceeded 165.70 crore across the country. 
Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited Rasgat in New Delhi today to pay homage to Mahatma Gandhi on his 74th death anniversary. Prime Minister Modi tweeted that remembering Bapu on his Punya Tithi is their collective endeavor to further popularize his novel ideals. He also added that paying homage to all the greats who courageously safeguarded the nation will always be remembered. Vice President M. Venkaya Nadu also paid floral tributes to the Mahatma Gandhi at the Rasgat. Meanwhile, Congress leader Rahul Gandhi too paid homage to Mahatma Gandhi at Rajgad on his death anniversary. Several other leaders from both the Bharatiya Janata Party and Congress were present to pay tribute to the father of the nation. Amid the latest row over the Pegasus spyware controversy, Congress leader P. Chidambaram took a dig at Prime Minister Narendra Modi over his message on completion of 30 years of diplomatic relations between India and Israel. P. Chidamram said it is the best time to ask Israel if they have any advanced version of the Pegasus spyware. He also reacted to Prime Minister Modi's remark on Saturday when he said there could not be a better time to set new goals to take forward relations between the two countries. P. Chidambaram comments came a day after a report by the New York Times said that Israel's spyware Pegasus and a missile system were the centerpieces of a roughly $2 billion deal of sophisticated weapons and intelligence gear between India and Israel in 2017. Before we wind up, let's have a quick look at the new st at the top stories once again. BJP releases list of candidates for 12th Manipur Legislative Assembly election. Three women candidates given tickets. Three sitting MLS denied. 12 new faces. Arad supporters of former MLA Dr. K.H. Lokan states protests clashed with police on street. Police fire tear gas shells. And state pays homage to Mahatma Gandhi on his 74th death anniversary. And that brings us to the end of today's English News Bulletin. Keep watching Mami TV for latest news updates. Thanks for watching.